The following is a presentation of Tuning Into Sci-Fi TV, the viewer's guide to genre television. I won't hide anymore. I will live the life I choose. Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Fay Files. I'm Kevin Batchelder, and this is our episode number 23, where we will be interviewing Carol Malcolm, who is the director of the DragonCon Urban Fantasy Track. Welcome to the show, everyone. Appreciate you taking some time to check in on us and talking some Lost Girl. This episode is very specific to DragonCon 2015. We're going to try to give you some information and talk to Carol about what's coming up for Lost Girl-related events at the convention, as well as all the other cool content that Carol will be covering in her urban fantasy track. ton of great stuff going on at Con. Now, we do realize there's many new listeners and certainly many first-time attendees at DragonCon. Uh, for Lost Girl fans, naturally with the amazing list of guests that we're going to be having this year and certainly topped off with the recent announcement, probably a little over a week as of the time of this recording, of Anna Silk coming this year as well. So there's lots to learn if you are new to the con. It's a wonderful event. I've been going for over 10 years, but Dragon Con is pretty big, 65,000 plus attendees. Uh, so it's a bit of a learning curve, but don't want to dissuade you if you're someone who's just making plans now or this is the first time you're going to be coming. We've got lots of resources available. The con community is very welcoming and the Lost Girl fans who've been going for many years uh, are also willing to help. So whether it's Twitter or Facebook, feel free to reach out. Lots of links if you go to the show notes at thefayfiles.com for this particular episode. I'll include some links to some great resources and ways to get in touch with us, certainly. If you have some questions, be glad to help out. Now, Carol has been uh, the director of the Urban Fantasy Track for several years now. We had her on the podcast last year as well to talk about uh, events there. So if you're a longtime listener, you may recognize her voice. And again, lots of information available because DragonCon is a pretty uh, unique fan-run convention. So there's lots of uh, stuff to learn and information. And she'll talk a little bit about the events. Now, keep in mind, if you are new to DragonCon and certainly conventions too, that you'll hear the word mentioned by many folks who work for the con or I say work for the con. Almost all the people who do are volunteers, including Carol. <laughs> it's a fan-run event. But uh, you'll hear a lot of us mentioning events and referring to them as tentative. With over 35 programming tracks, over 400 celebrity guests, events going on in five hotels, official hotels, uh, the schedule is, is uh, an amazing thing to see work. So it is very dynamic. Things can change quickly. So while in this particular podcast and interview, we don't yet have the exact times for the Lost Girl cast panels, their Q&A events. Carol will talk a little more about that in the interview. Details on that will be coming out, and I highly recommend that you keep an eye on the Urban Fantasy Facebook page. Carol does a great job. That is the spot that gets updated the fastest. Uh, there is a track uh, Twitter account and a track web page, but as you'll hear her mention, the Facebook page is the go-to spot to get information that's most up to date. So keep an eye on that. Details on the exact times of the cast panels will be coming out probably in a matter of days. Fingers crossed. You have to wait to see. But also keep in mind that even when they do get announced, they could change, certainly between now and con, almost right up to the day of con. It's very dynamic. That's just the nature of Dragon Con. So keep that in mind as you're getting some details here. Also keep in mind, too, along the events and information that's in the uh, show notes, that we do have a fan event coming up, if you're listening to this shortly after it comes out, on Saturday, August 8th. Uh, the ladies from the Drinks of the Doll podcast, a wonderful Lost Girl podcast. Those ladies and myself are going to be doing a live Google Hangout event, a question and answer. Talk a little bit about our experiences. We've been to the con ourselves for several years, about some of the Lost Girl events, the con in general, and be able to take your questions too. So it'll be a live event uh, taking place on YouTube, 2 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, adjust for your time zone there, but link in the show notes to more details. You can watch that live, submit questions if you're unable to join us at that time. Uh, we will hopefully be recording it for both audio and video purposes to listen after the fact. And if schedules work out, Carol hopes to join us for at least part of that as well. So we'll have to see. She's got some other commitments, as you can imagine, this time of year. Uh, also, as I mentioned, the Drinks of the Doll uh, ladies earlier, they are going to be doing a live podcast recording at the convention. We'll actually be listed in the program under Drinks of the Doll. Uh, if, if schedules hold, again, tentatively, it's set for Sunday morning at 10 a.m. So you can come down and, and watch them record a podcast talking about Lost Girl. Uh, so keep an eye on the schedule for that. And as Carol's going to mention, we have the fan discussion panel for Lost Girl uh, this year. I believe Saturday afternoon is when she mentioned I'm scheduled to be one of the panelists there. We have a great time. There's no 
Lost Girl cast members there. It's a fan panel to talk about the show. That's the nature of Dragon Con. It's tons and tons of fan panels, fans talking with other fans and uh, other great stuff like cosplayers and so forth there, hopefully as well. So uh, I babbled on, I think, enough here. Let me turn it over so you can hear uh, my discussion with Carol. And as I said, if you need information or assistance, don't hesitate to reach out, folks. Uh, looking forward to seeing several of you at the convention. It's going to be a blast. Welcome back, Carol. Thank you, Kevin. I'm very happy to be here. Thank you for having me. Oh, my pleasure. My pleasure. And as we've been talking about on the podcast and, and online, lots of fun stuff coming up for Con, as always happens. But certainly our focus here on this podcast will uh, be to touch on some of the Lost Girl related items, as well as all the other cool stuff coming to your track. Uh, certainly when this year looks pretty special with the guest list that we have and all. So uh, without wasting anyone else's time, because I know you folks are very excited, we're going to let Carol talk about some of the cool Lost Girl cast and events that are going to be coming up this year. Yes, we're very excited that today or that this year we will have the cast for all four days of the con. And you heard it here first, folks. Um, they will be here, uh, be at the convention on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday this time. For a for the times of those panels, you'll need to check back with our Facebook page. A little later this week, we'll have um, a tentative schedule posted. But those uh, those events, um, we know people will want to come to. Uh, but Kevin and I both hope that people will also want to come and talk about the show with us uh, at the fan panel, which will take place on Saturday and is tentatively scheduled for 2.30 on Saturday afternoon. So you will see that as well on the tentative schedule. But those are the things that we have going on, and we're very excited about that. We have six cast members this year. And we are thrilled. Um, I think most of your listeners probably know by now that Anna is also joining us. And I, I think that that's a, a great big boost for the convention, um, certainly for the track and, you know, just a great way for the show to, to kind of, for all of us to be able to celebrate and honor the show in its last year. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. The announcement of Anna probably a week or so prior to the time we're recording was, was quite a momentous event. I mean, you could hear that thud all around the, the Lost Girl fandom when we saw that happening. Yes. Did you actually faint? I wondered about that. <laughs> uh, oh. Well, a real real quick story. I was I follow the Dragon Con social media accounts, the Facebook page and the Twitter account, and they also have an Instagram, and I have them all set to alert me, certainly this time of year, just because I'm so excited with what gets announced. And it just so happened the enter announcement went up first, on the Instagram account. So I saw a Dragon Con notice on my phone, tapped it, and then it opens up the photo for Instagram. And when I saw the photo of Anna, and for a half second there, I thought maybe it was just a friend's photo, and then realized, no, this is Dragon Con, and then saw the actual <laughs> caption. Yeah, I just about lost it and started sending tweets and Facebook messages <laughs> <laughs> in all directions. That was that was quite uh, quite exciting, and especially on top of all the other folks that are coming this year, too. Oh, I know. It's it's very exciting. Um, I'm, I'm thrilled that we will have a few people there for the first time. I mean, aside from Anna, we will also have Rachel Scarston there and mm -hmm. Zoe Palmer. We're very excited to have back our repeat customers, um, Ksenia and Paul and Chris. But it's also really cool to get the new people or the people, you know, the new to con, let's mm -hmm. put it that way, and to have them join in and, you know, just it's I think it's going to be a great way for the fans to get to see them also interact with each other, you know, outside of the show. It's be we said people have seen, you know, the, the over the last two years got to see the people interact, the the cast members who were there. And this time, you know, I think it'll it'll be even more special because it's the last year of the show and because we have a combination of those who have not been with us before and those who have. And I, I do believe that, that there are a lot of things about Dragon Con that are very different from other conventions. So even though all of them have been to conventions before, they, you know, they will not, three of them will not have experienced Dragon Con before. So that's pretty exciting too. Oh, absolutely. I mean, certainly the last couple of years have been wonderful with the guests that have been there, as you mentioned, Chris, Paul, and uh, last year, certainly with Ksenia. It's just wonderful to to have them there and, and pretty 
unusual to have such a large contingent all together, and especially Anna here in the U.S. at a con. This is, is a pretty special event. Yes, agreed. Absolutely. And yeah, the uh, you know once the schedule does come out, again, for those of you who are brand new to Dragon Con, because of the dynamic nature, you've, you've certainly heard it if you've been reading any info about Dragon Con, uh, we always use the word tentative. Uh, right up to the day of con, because uh, there is so much going on and so many things happening, uh, it's tough to lock down an exact time. So Carol's been working very hard, has have all the other Dragon Con directors and the folks behind the scenes. So uh, look for that information again. Your Facebook page, I believe, is the best spot for that, Carol. Is that correct? Yes, that is correct. That's the place that I update things the fastest. And it's that. so that's kind of the go-to spot to find out if there are any changes. When it's actually during the convention, I will do that as I did last year, but also uh, it's sometimes even faster than what I might put something up if things appear in the Daily Dragon. So, you know, if they have any updates, for example, somebody dropped out. Um, of, and sometimes it's not that they aren't coming at all. It's because they couldn't get there in time to do a particular panel that was on a day that maybe they just can't get there in time for it. Mm -hmm. And so it will be... You know, they'll they'll say, OK, they won't be there Friday, but they'll be here the rest of the time or something like that. So if it appears in the app or in the printed schedule that either a media guest or an author or anybody that it happens to be uh, is supposed to appear on a particular panel, it, it will show on the in the Daily Dragon and they'll say they're not going to be here after all. It, typically, if they've canceled completely, it will say that. But if it just says that they will not be on such and such a panel, there could be a number of reasons for it. But the Daily Dragon is a good place to look to during the con. But if people will keep up with the Facebook page, I will always make updates like that if, you know, if something has changed. So hopefully not. We'll keep our fingers crossed that we don't have any, you know, last minute um, cancellations or problems on, on anyone's part. But, but those, that is for... For this track, that's the best way to check is the Facebook page. Excellent. Yes, and we'll have, as I mentioned early on, folks, we'll have all those links in our show notes. You'll certainly want to be uh, liking the page or following it to keep up on things and just understand the dynamic nature of how things flow at con. But it's wonderful uh, to be able to look forward to uh, having a cast Q&A panel uh, every day during con along with that fan panel. Uh, we've certainly had a great deal of fun the last couple of years on those Lost Girl uh Fan panels, which is uh, just as a description applies for those folks who might be brand new to cons, where it'll be a, a set of fans sitting down talking about some of the topics of the show and interacting with all the fans that are there, too. So while there won't be any cast members at that fan panel, uh, as Carol said, it'd been a little Saturday afternoon. It'll be a great time uh, to get together and meet some other Lost Girl fans. Maybe we'll have some of the cosplayers there. There have been several outstanding Lost Girl cosplayers at the con the last few years. So it's a great way to meet other fans, too. So we hope you folks are able to make that one, too. Yes, please do. And something that people may not be aware of if they've not been to Dragon Con before is that the, the cast panels are primarily, uh, you know, audience Q&A. Um, you get to ask questions of the cast members. Um, so if you're going to come and, you, you know, I, I, I believe that most people who come may not come with that intent, but they want to watch the interaction. They want to hear the people answer the questions that other people are asking. But if you do come with questions, you may want to have, a, if you if that's your intent, come with maybe a few different ones because somebody else may ask, the, may want to ask the same one first or whatever. You know, they may beat you to it, in other words. But it, but certainly um, it is a chance for for the fans to interact with the cast in that way, that they get to ask questions directly of them. Absolutely. And again, link in the show notes, folks, too. We'll have a, a link to a podcast that I did with the Drinks at the Doll uh, ladies, their podcast, Outstanding Lost Girl podcast. We uh, got together shortly after Con last year just to talk about the great time we had. And there are links uh, to other videos of each of the fan panel, excuse me, each of the cast panels from last year that are up on YouTube. If you've never been to one or haven't seen one and are curious, you can watch all of those things that took place last year uh, with uh, Ksenia and Rick and... Uh, Emmanuel. Emmanuel, thank you. <laughs> Had to pick me up. So many great names. Um, so it's a great way to find out. And we've got a very active fandom, folks. Certainly, if you're new 
to a con, but you've been a Lost Girl fan, just reach out Twitter or Facebook and, and lots of us can offer information. So it's going to be some really amazing stuff this year. Really looking forward to it. I know, Carol, you and your staff work very hard every year. So it's it's wonderful to get a chance to interact with the other fans. Yes, well, thank you. And we we are looking forward to it as well. The 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 past uh, in the in the past it's been great working with these folks and I look forward to doing it again. And as awesome as all the Lost Girl stuff is though, that's only a small part of your track. I mean I know you have other guests, authors and media folks coming this year too, don't you? Yes. We also have four cast members from Bitten uh coming and that's our other um set of uh media guests at this point. Um they're there is one other thing that may happen that people should stay tuned for, but I won't say any more about it quite yet, just so we don't get people's hopes up too much. But hopefully I've piqued your interest and you will keep an eye on the Facebook page to find out. But we will have uh, Laura Vandervoort and uh, Greg Burke, Michael Xavier and Steve Lund from Bitten. And well, I mean, I'm, I've never met any of them before, so I'm very much looking forward to that as well. And uh, I've, I've enjoyed the show, so I hope that, you know, people who are fans will make sure and come and see their cast panels. Uh, and, uh, you know, it should be it should be a good time. And yes, uh, the the media stuff takes up about half of the panel or half of the programming for the urban fantasy track, which between the cast panels and the um, the fan panels for the other shows that we cover, too, uh, we cover and instead, in addition to Bitten and Lost Girl, we also cover the Vampire Diaries and Supernatural and the originals and the new show iZombie and The Librarians and Teen Wolf. So we have, you know, several different fan panels. Everything will have one. Um, but it, so that that is sort of half of the programming of the track and the other half is on authors in the field of urban fantasy and if you're familiar with people like Jim Butcher and uh, Laurel K. Hamilton and Faith Hunter and you know the the list goes on and on um, you know those people that write in that genre will be joining us this year and um, we're very pleased about that and also a couple of gentlemen that we've not had before um We've got Richard Cadry, uh, who writes the Sandman Slim series, will be there. And then uh, Mike Cole, um, who writes a, a military fantasy. He calls it Military and Magic, and a, a fascinating series. So he will be there as well. And I'm very excited to Carrie Vaughn, who is a very, who her series on the werewolf named Kitty will. Uh, be there this year and i'm very excited about that as well so um, that's that's pretty much how the track is divided up is half and half and you know the we've got programming on for both the media and the authors going on for four days and we certainly hope that people will come and you know it'd be great if people could come to all of them but i do understand <laughs> that they need to go see some things on a few other tracks as well. But please do come and check out some of our other programming, too. Oh, absolutely. I'm looking forward to being involved in a few of those uh, fan panels as well for some of those other shows, too. You, We always have a great, great time, very interactive panels, so I always look forward to them every year. Well, good. Well, I wouldn't, I, I'm, not, I'm not sure they would be the same without you, so I'm glad that you enjoy them. <laughs> absolutely. And for those folks, especially if you are new to con, uh, events take place. There are five official hotels, uh, so there'll be a, a smartphone app and a printed program for you to uh, take a look and figure things out. But the majority of your events will be taking place in, in uh, one certain hotel. Is that correct, Carol? Yes, yes. Most of our events are in the Westin, and um, at this time, that's where the Lost Girl events will be. Now, keep in mind, as you've said, Kevin has, has stressed this, and... You will see this just about everywhere at this time of year. Anything to do with Dragon Con programming will always say tentative. And that is kind of the way it is. But at this point, all of the Lost Girl stuff will be in the Westin. Um, and right now, I have, a, I have, I think it's three panels, one for an author and two other uh, media things going on in other hotels. But, and again, some of that may change by the time 
it gets closer to the convention. But for right now, all of the Lost Girl things will be in the in the Weston. Excellent. And is your track room in the same place it's been in the past? Do you know yes. yet? Yes, it's uh, Chastain D and E is what is what it's called, and it is downstairs. Uh, when you go in the main entrance of the Weston, it is going to be the first room on your right. Uh, we're across from the Whedonverse room, and it's actually I'm sorry, Chastain E D. It depends on what you look at. In some places it says D E, but it, you'll see it. It's the they they renamed all the rooms last year for some reason. Oh, just make it hotter yeah. on us. <laughs> yeah, and they. When they did it, they weren't really, um, it wasn't really very explicit. There was kind of a disconnect between what the names, what the hotel had changed them to and what they actually were called <laughs> on the, and, what, and what Dragon Con was calling them. So I'm still kind of working in both worlds, but it's um, Chastain ED. But the, the easiest way to remember it is it's the first door on your right when you come in the, uh, you know, in the entrance, in that main entrance. Yes. And it's very easy to get to, folks. And, and, for those of you who are new to con, uh, the, the thing that can throw you off a little bit with the Weston is uh, there are two entrances to the hotel. The one off Peachtree, which most folks consider the main entrance because it's the one closest to the other con hotels. That's the one where when you walk in, you literally right there on the right, just a few steps inside the door would be Carol's Urban Fantasy Track Room. There is another entrance with the uh, shall we say the door where the cars pull up to the front of the Weston that's on the other side of the building. So depending upon where you might be coming in, just uh, follow the crowds. It shouldn't be too hard to find. There's some pretty good signage at DragonCon. Yes, yes. And they do a nice job of keeping things moving through there pretty well. It does get a little crowded now and then, but I, it's been a while since I've actually gotten into another part of the convention when once it's actually started into one of the other hotels. <laughs> But um, I, the the Weston, even when it gets a little bit clogged, is I think much easier to get around in than some of the other places are. So, yes, come yes. and see us. Absolutely, <laughs> yep. It's a beautiful uh, ballroom there at the Weston where the uh, Lost Girl uh, cast panels have been in the past. So it's it's a nice place uh, to spend some time with the cast. I'm really looking forward to it. Yes, me too. I think it's going to be great, and we we hope that everybody who hears this will be coming. Absolutely. So we really appreciate you taking the time to sit down and talk to us, Carol. It, hopefully it's been a big help for folks. Well, thank you for asking me to do it, Kevin. I really appreciate it, and I'm I'm happy to, to do so. And I really look forward to people coming, and we've had you know such good turnouts the last couple of years, and I know that's going to continue this year, especially since we have, you know, this year have even more. The past two years, we only had three cast members each time and this time we've got six so mm -hmm. um, that I, I suppose that means we could expect double the, the attendees so I don't know <laughs> I, I'm not sure if that's true but we do hope that people will will try to come and if not to every single one that they will at least come to you know one or two of them to get a get a, a flavor for what this cast is like together uh, you know off camera so. oh absolutely it should be a lot of fun. We're hoping folks can make it down. So, And the fan panel. Don't forget about the fan panel. We would love for people to come and talk to us about it. There will be a few um, panelists that I will have some questions for, and we will get get their responses and get the audience involved in what you know we're all talking about. So please do come, and especially if you have any strong feelings about Season 5, come and share them with us. Oh, absolutely. We're going to have a blast at that one as well. So a lot of fun. All right. Agreed. Well, thanks again, Cal. We really appreciate it. We're looking forward to seeing everybody at the con. Thank you, Kevin. We offer several different ways for you to get in touch with us here at The Fay Files. You can come by our website at thefayfiles.com, which lists all of our blog posts. You can also send us an email directly at feedback at tuningintosci-fi-tv.com. You can leave us a voicemail at 206 202-4182. You can find us on Twitter at The Fay Files or on Facebook at facebook.com slash tuning into sci-fi TV. Listen to Tuning Into Sci-Fi TV on Stitcher Radio On Demand. Download the free app today at stitcher.com. You've been listening to The Fay Files presented by Tuning Into Sci-Fi TV, episode 23, recorded August 3rd, 2015.